All right, folks, so this is the fourth and final stage of the 2019 Joe Martin Stage Race. It's a criterium. Uh, 30 laps ends up being about 40-ish miles, I believe, and uh, about 90 minutes. And um, we're picking up here right after uh, some of the bonus sprints, and what our main objective is is to keep Steven Yellow. He has a 19-second lead, um, and so really we want to let a small group go that's non-threatening to his lead, um, so that way they can soak up any other time bonuses uh, and we can preserve his overall lead. So you can see here the break is forming. There's a couple people up the road. Uh, a couple riders jump up as well, and Ben uh, covers all over that. So this is something that we're pretty happy with. Um, we have a rider in the break. Right now, from what we understand, there's no one that's really threatening to this break. Uh, and you can see the race has been hard here for about 40 minutes or 50 minutes. So the field is tired, and you can see they're all sitting up and letting this go. A couple laps later, um, there's just a bit of unhappiness with what's going on. You know, DC Bank missed the move here. So you can see they're sending um, riders up the road. One just jumped up the right side. I can see uh, Grant Koontz, I believe, is in the green jersey, getting antsy on the right side here. So I just decided to go ahead and follow his attack, um, sneak up the right-hand side here, uh, and just jump across and see what happens, right? Um, we don't want to get too many riders in this move, which is why I'm following it. Uh, if there are too many riders and that gap gets too big, and Steve has a good lead, but we don't let anything get more than like 30 seconds or so um, because that's just it starts becoming really threatening. There's a lot of people within a minute um, overall GC because it is a pretty tight race. So this is a long downhill section. Um, I'm doing some minimal pedaling here and really just going to close the gap for these three guys in this final corner. You see they sit up a little bit. Um, so you can really just late break uh, into this corner, um, take it fast, and you're going to be right on the wheels. So now that we've been on this, this break is pretty much shut down at this point. I believe I look back here and the, the field's pretty strung out and uh, on my wheel, they don't really want to let me go, which is understandable uh, since I am sitting fourth in GC overall. So later in this attack, this is actually just up the hill. You see that break was just up the road. It's like five or six seconds away. That's why I assume that this Project Echelon rider jumped across to shut that move down completely. Um, I was actually not going to follow it originally. You see, I let this gap go, and then I turn around and look right there and see that Steve is on my wheel, and he's pretty much the only one on my wheel. And we have a gap to the field, so I was like, all right, let's go. If they're going to let us go up to that break, we'll go up to the break. Um, so I kind of surged through this section here. Uh, see this Park Echelon rider jump over, and then he kind of sat up. I don't know if this was by design or not. Um, so he weighs me through, and I look back, I see we still have a gap, that break is still right up the road, so I take this really big pull here um, to see if they'll let us get up the road with that rider. Catch the DC bank rider, I see, still see the break right up the road, and think, man, we can get up there, that's going to be just the easiest situation for all of us. And uh, I look back here in the field, um, wisely decided to chase us down. I know we have the yellow jersey. I tell Steve, you know, calm down. We don't have any risky riders here. You see Tyler Stice jumps. That's someone we don't want to go up the road. He's probably fifth, I think, in GC. Um, we see everyone else is still antsy and not willing to let that go. So we're hoping that everyone kind of is the glue for those riders. I drifted back after that big pull and, and took a little break in the field, but now I'm looking to move up. That, that gap, actually, uh, Alex Hone has snuck into that breakaway um, after uh, a couple of attacks, so he bridged up, and I'm too far back, and really we're about at eight laps to go, or something, eight or nine laps to go. So I take the outside line of the corner here, everyone's sitting up, the pace isn't very high, and you can see I just move up about like 20 spots, um, and no problem. So now I, I talk to, I think this is Ryan, and asking, you know, what do we need to do here? It sounds like uh, the gap's going out, and really it's about 30 seconds. And at this point, if Alex wins the stage, he's gonna get a 10 second time bonus along with 30 seconds, and he will take over yellow. So this is not a good situation, obviously. Um, so I wanna try and get to the front as soon as I can. You see this little split is happening off the front of the field. And I look up the road and I see Steve's actually in it. So if something's going to go um, with Steven, that's great. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to get organized and close that thing down. Um, but really I'm going to surf the wheels here and see if I can get pulled up to that group. Um, if they do close down, then maybe I can do a little bit of work here to, to close down that gap. So you can see the Project Echelon riders aren't really happy to let that go. They have someone sitting in third, I think it's Ben Zimmer. Um, you know, Tyler Stice doesn't want to let that go. So there's going to be some people that are going. Um, you can see uh, one, of the, one of the Floyd's riders starting to get antsy. People are just wanting to jump across. 
to this move. Um, and right here I see the elevator rider uh, you know, surge up the right hand side. I go ahead and jump right on that wheel. If he's going to pull me up to that brake, then I will follow along gladly. You see there's only a couple seconds, and really this is something that we can close down um, pretty quickly. It's not something I really want to be closing down, but if uh, it's going to be coming back together, I want to be in that group so that way I can help Steve and uh, give him another pair of legs to really chase down that brake and close the gap. Because eight laps to go, um, 30 seconds, this is starting to get hairy and we're starting to get a little bit... Um, uh, worry about this move. We would be fine with it except for the fact that Alex Holmes just lived up there and that's something that we didn't really see happen. Um, so we're not too pleased with that. So now we're trying to shut that down. At least bring it back to where we're not worried about that. So I closed down the gap here in this corner um, and then you can see you can make up so much time in these things if you're you know able to climb a little bit faster, a little easier than everyone else. Um, you can see this uh, canal specialized guy, maybe not uh, the most experienced crit dog, has to surge out of this corner and I'm following with him. And really, uh, this group slows down. I don't want them to be slowing down at all, so I just surge right off the right hand side and basically saying, All right, um, until I can get some help, I'm just going to be putting time in the front because we need to close down this gap. So here I am, just taking a nice big long pull on the front. Um, trying to bring anything back. And we're still pulling. This is going into the second lap in a row on the front, the end of the crit, the end of the stage race. And I'm starting to get tired. I'm trying to get other people to work with me, but no one's really pulling through, and I don't really want to let the pace drop off too much. Uh, you see finally these DC bank riders pull through because they have also missed the move as I mentioned so I'm like peace out I'm going back to the field I will come back in a couple laps um, and that was my intention until I realized I was really tired and could not get back to the front um, so this is the final lap the final sprint we're coming in here um, and really I have nothing left to give this is everything I can do just to stay in the field um, and Really, we close it down to 20 seconds. Uh, Alexander Cohen took the win. Um, and so Alatone jumped from, I think, like 10th or something into third, which is a good move for him. But we kept Steve in the yellow um, despite what was somewhat of a hectic day uh, for us all. Um, even though I, I crossed the line here and you'll you see me roll up to Steve and we had a conversation like, did we win? I don't know. Um, but really hard day to end a really hard race um, but we got the UCI win overall which is huge two stage wins Steve took the win the time trial as well um, I think I ended up sixth overall in GC so huge week for the team uh, ton of fun um, and uh, glad to glad to cap that one off Benny ended up getting fifth from the break um, sitting on so another good result and uh, yeah thanks for watching um, be sure to subscribe or like the video. We'll have more content coming up. This is it from Joe Martin. Um, so maybe I have some video, uh, one video from Redlands and maybe a couple other things coming up down the line too. So thanks and we'll see you next time.